Hey guys, let's look at lesson 49. This is called multiplication of polynomials. Remember what a polynomial is. And we're just going to multiply them. First, the question is, what is the distributive property? The word distribute, you know what that means, is to kind of spread something around. And that's what we're going to do when we multiply polynomials. And I'll show you an example of what we, how we do this. Um, if you look at this, we are going to multiply the 4x by everything in parentheses, which means what we do is we just do one at a time. And you can take a second to copy this down if you want to pause it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take the 4x first, and we're going to multiply it by the x squared. And when we do that, we get 4x to the first times x to the second, x to the third. And we're done. Now we take the 4x and multiply it by the negative 2. Well, 4x times negative 2 would be negative 8 x and they will often tell you when you write this in descending order of the variable you know putting exponent x to the third there's x to the first and we'll do it like that most of the time that is as far as you want to go now eventually we'll look at something like this starting first and then we'll pull out that uh, the greatest common factor which will be 4x you'll eventually look at this problem that's you know that's like squared up here and they'll tell you to factor it and you'll go okay what's the biggest number that goes into 4 and 8 oh 4 What's the biggest term that will go into x to the third and x to the first? Oh, x is. If you notice, that's the same thing starting out here. We'll do that a little bit later. Here's another example. <clears throat> if you want to uh, pause it for a second. Now, what's different about this? Obviously, we have two terms that we're multiplying this by. And this looks kind of complicated. When I was a kid, they used to tell us this method called FOIL. First, outside, inside, last, to that. Don't worry about it. You just take this one right here. Take that very first one, and you go to do it to both of them. Okay, so let's do that together. So we'll do 4x times 3x. And that'll be 12. Then x to the first times x to the first is x to the second. Okay? Then 4x times negative 2, that'll be negative 8x. Now at this point, you are done. Done with that part. Now move on to the positive 5. You're going to do exactly the same thing you did to, to the positive 5 that you did to the 4x. So let's first take positive 5 times 3x. That'll give us positive 15x. And then, of course, positive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Now, you don't want to leave it like this. If you have any like terms, you want to stick those and kind of shove them together. You don't have any other squares, so you just count it once. A negative 8x plus a 15x will give you positive 7x. Then we have the negative 10 at the very end, and this is what you're going to have as your answer. Those three terms that is a trinomial. Okay. All right, let's try another one. If you want to pause it and write this down, you can. <clears throat> and why don't you just try it? Go ahead and do the 4x times the x minus 5, then done. And then do the 2 times the x minus 5, then finish. Then combine like terms and see what, uh, see what you have. You'll have a th trinomial again like you did in the last slide. So pause it if you want, try it, and I'll do it in a second. Okay, I'll do the 4x first. 4x times x, 4x squared. 4x times negative 5, negative 20x. Done. Now I'll do the 2. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times negative 5, negative 10. Okay, now you notice there aren't any other squared terms, so just put 4x squared. But there are 2x terms, which we can add together. So negative 20x plus 2x is negative 18x. Then we'll just slap the uh, number 10, or excuse me, negative 10 on the very end. And there we go. That's it. Okay, let's try another one. Ooh, that looks familiar. 3x minus 5. Okay, we'll try this one again. Give it a shot. Pause it and try it. Okay, we can do 4x. Then we'll do both of these. 4x times 3x, 12x squared. 4x times negative 5, negative 20x. And we are done with this. 2 times both of those, 2 times 3x uh, is 6x, 2 times negative 5, again, negative 10. Okay, and same thing here, we have a 12x squared, a negative 20 of something plus 6 of something gives you negative 14 of that, and a negative 10 at the very end, and there we go. All right, we'll do two more, then we'll do our practice problems. Okay, now let's try this one. Um, you can copy this down. Now, when you see something like this, what you're going to need to do is write it twice. Any, the definition of squaring something means something multiplied by itself. Okay, so anytime you see something like this, 
just rewrite it. Just go 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2. Okay? Once you have that, you're in good shape. And uh, so go ahead and pause it and see what you get on this one. All right, well, let me do this 3x first. I'll go across here with the 3x. Okay, 3x times 3x, 9x squared. Don't forget the squared. 3x times positive 2, 6x. Okay, that means we are done with this. Now let's work on the positive 2. So positive 2 times 3x, nope, another 6x. And 2 times 2, of course, 4. Now again, look at this. You've got a 9x squared. Nothing else matches up with that. And no other like terms, no other squareds. 6x plus 6x gives you 12x. And then add the 4, and you are done. There's another 1, 2, 3 trinomial. Okay. All right, one more. All right, this is, looks a little different. What's different about this one than the ones we've done before? No, look at it. What, tell me what's different about it. Okay. Yeah, there's two terms on the first inside the first parenthesis, uh, parentheses, and then there's three terms in the second parentheses. Well, we don't care. I mean, if it works, you know, you know, just doing two and two, the method is you just take the 4x and you go across, and then when you're finished with that, take the negative 2 and go across. It doesn't matter how many there are. You could have 20 of them and still work. So let's, <clears throat> if you haven't copied it down, go ahead and do that. And uh, first, go ahead and take the 4x and go all the way across, and then tell me what three terms you get, and you can pause it if you want to. Okay, let's try 4x all the way across. 4x times x squared, 4x cubed. 4x times negative x, negative 4x squared this time. 4x times positive 5 is 20x. Okay, so there's three terms there, so we're done. Now let's take the negative 2. I got negative 2 times x squared, pretty easy. Negative 2 times negative x, well, a negative times a negative is a positive, so it's going to be a positive 2x. And then a negative 2 times a positive 5 is a negative 10. Now, if you look at this, you'll notice, again, there's no other terms that are cubed, so you just put your 4x to the third. And you can do this if you want to, you know, kind of just, you know, you're done with that. Well, here's a squared. There's a squared. So we've got a negative 4 of it and negative 2 of it gives us negative 6x squared. Done with that. Done with that. Okay. 20x and a 2x gives you 22x. And then negative 10. And it's, that's as you know, nice as you can get it. It says descending order of the variable. Well, we got it to the third power, to the second power. If you want to write a 1, there's a to the 1 power. And of course, uh, anything to the 0 power is a 1. So 10 times 1 is 1. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, we have three practice problems. Pause it, and we'll do all three of these at once. Uh, you can handle it however you want, but uh, give it a pause, and then try A, B, and C. All right, we'll do 5x all the way across first. That will give us 10x squared. Make sure you have the squared there, because x to the first times x to the first is x to the second. Okay, 5x times negative 4 is negative 20x. Okay, done with the 5x. Okay, 3 now. 3 times 2x, 6x. 3 times negative 4, negative 12. Okay, so no other t squares, so just put the 10x squared. And negative 20 plus a 6 will give you negative 14x, and then minus 12, and there you go. And that's your setup. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do B. I'm just going to cross out the squared and write it like this. 5x minus 6 times 5x minus 6, and we'll do the 5x first. All right, 5x times 5x. 25x squared. 5x times negative 6 will be negative 30x, and I'm done with this. And negative 6 going across times 5x, another negative 30x. And negative 6 times a negative 6 is a positive 36. So we'll copy down the 25x squared. These get combined to give you negative 60x and plus 36. And that is as far as we go. Okay, pause it and try C. See what you get. All right, first we'll do 3x. And I'll kind of write a little smaller here. So 3x all the way across. So 3x times x squared, that'll be 3x to the third power. 3x times negative 2x is going to be a negative. So 3 times 2, 6. And then x times x, x squared. 
and then 3x times 3 is just 9x. Okay, so we're done with this. All right, now we're going to do negative 1 times everything across here. So negative 1 times x squared, negative x squared. Negative 1 times negative, well, negative times a negative is a positive. 1 times 2x is 2x. There we go. And a negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Okay. So no other cubed terms. Let's just write that down here. We have a square there and a square there. So negative 6 minus, you can call it a 1, is negative 7x squared. Done, done, done. Okay, then a 9x and a 2x give you 11x minus 3. And there you go. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys.